short and english intermediate grade first paper get ready for trial dictation 15 seconds Ten seconds. Five seconds. Comments. Speaking on the topic international trade and environmental quality, a member said, "Dear colleagues, we know that international trade is only an international specialization of goods and." services and exchanging them on the basis of comparative advantages and the intensity of reciprocal demand for commodities produced and exchanged it is stated that international values or terms of international exchange are determined according to the principle of comparative cost generally nation do not take into consideration costs involved in maintaining environmental quality in assessing the values of goods and services coming under international trade but national standards in pollution control may have considerable impact on the international trade the environmental policy of our country can affect environmental quality in the foreign country even if the home country's pollution is confined to national environmental media it should be realized that the main motivation in foreign trade is the prospect of gains by which countries could expand their consumption opportunities through trade it is to be viewed in the context of deteriorating environmental quality gains from trade should be specified as the net improvements in well being rather than in terms of consumption availabilities short and english intermediate grade first paper 100 words per minute code number of question paper 468 468 candidate should transcribe the passage into long and verbatim 10 marks are reserved for your short and performance your handwriting during transcription should be legible and sufficient space should be left between lines get ready 15 seconds 10 seconds 5 seconds comments speaking in the legislative assembly an honorable member stated as follows mr speaker sir i rise to support the motion of thanks for the governor's address i wish to draw the attention of the government to the points raised during the debate reiterating the statement of honorable chief minister regarding starting of primary health center in taluks recently established it will be good and right if each and every village panchayat as a community hall or an auditorium i request the government to take all necessary steps in this regard then i would like to stress the need for starting rural libraries as we know the primary need of the educated unemployed is to make use of libraries if libraries are opened the youth can take notes for competitive examination 
and also gain more general knowledge the villagers can avail of the opportunity to enhance their skill in case of need also i hope and trust the government must come forward to provide all help and assistance to the rural poor in this regard moving on to the next subject i would like to stress the need for improvement of tanks in the state the government must pay special attention to this matter it is relevant to note that i have already referred the issue on previous occasions also which can easily be seen on going through the recordings of the assembly i would also request the concerned honorable minister to look into the matter as quickly as possible i further hope the honorable finance minister would graciously allocate more funds to do the needful and i thank him for taking note of my suggestions as we know the majority of people belong to the poor classes who must be helped by the government by starting cooperative farms and the persons involved must be enrolled and given share in these farms the government must safeguard their interests by providing insurance schemes so as to enable them to upgrade their status and the well being of their day to day affairs be enhanced considerably i appreciate the government and every honorable member of this house also joins me regarding handling of public distribution system in the state further i request the government to extend the free distribution of rice and wheat to the people below poverty line without any hurdle and ensure through officers concerned that it is received by people on right day with correct weight etc the government must conduct surprise checks in the ration shops frequently by the officials and curb mal practice in conclusion i would like to thank the honorable chief minister for introduction of many new and useful schemes for the welfare of the people of tamil nadu i thank the honorable finance minister for allotting necessary funds to implement the various welfare schemes of the government i am sure that under that able leadership of our honorable chief minister our state will become number 1 state in the country with these words i conclude my speech letter dated 10th october 2014 from the manager messrs ravindran and company bengaluru to mr john forty anna salai chennai dear sir we are in receipt of your letter of the fourth instance informing us of your desire to purchase a suitable plot near electronic city for a start up business we thank you for your letter at the very outset we wish to inform you that we have made necessary enquiries and obtained all details of a plot which we hope will be of interest to you the total area of the plot is four grounds and is situated in the heart of the city it is in an excellent condition and the price offered is also a nominal one the person in charge of this deal came to us 
and discussed with us. We think that the price is acceptable to you. We are further informed that the owner of the plot wishes to dispose of the plot quickly and to go abroad within a fortnight. In our opinion, this is the most ideal one as it is situated in industrial hub. We shall be happy to arrange for an inspection on any day. Yours faithfully.